Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. People, our people are destroyed. They won't, they drive past and say F y'all. When we out here teaching and giving solutions, but it's F us. But yet, where, where are the solutions? How do we fix our community? Because we marched, we've done everything. And, and what, 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 what bothers me the most is about our people. The police will shoot, shoot one of us down, right? And what we do, we tear up the neighborhood, march up and down the block. We want justice, we want justice. But yet when your brother shoot, uh, shoot his brother, don't nothing happen. Ain't no, ain't no marches, ain't no parades. People see it happen and don't even tell. So the, the problem is with us. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What's your name, bro? Derek. Derek? Yeah. Uh, I see you got a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gun violence. Now, did you know that now when gun violence happens, do like if we got cameras through our neighborhood, you got people that look out the windows and that they see things happening. How often do the crimes get solved in our neighborhood? You said it. You said thirty-eight percent. That's low. I can guarantee you 100% of them, somebody seen what happened. You say he got murdered? Like the drugs. Like the drugs. Yeah, they just they robbed him like he was selling. No, 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 he was like a used like Oh he was robbed in the process of going to get him. No, no, it was just people he was doing. Old friends, like you know how you come around, like right. a functional addict, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, something like that, yeah. So, yeah, so, so, so something like that, like, even, what you at? Uh, get, uh, first John, first John 3 and 15. How you doing, sister? Uh, how you doing, sister? No, I just got off of work, and uh, I'm a church woman myself. Uh-huh, so I'm just... I belong to a uh, new member, right? So let me, so I'm, 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 I am I'm, 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 myself, but I work seven days and I didn't get a point. So is the church helping our community? What's my you church say? is up north. Your church is up north? 1501 North So, but is, is the church helping our community? Is I live it, over here now. Okay. It help over there. You say help them over there? I mean, my pastor died, the first lady died, but if they can help, oh yes, they will help. Okay. So they read that real quick. But I was just reading. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 15. Whosoever hate his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer have let eternal life abide in him. So, if, so that's so, it's supposed to be free. So if, if we have friends, they supposed to, you go around your friends, oh, you comfortable. You have supposed a level of trust, right? Supposed to be. But yet, in our community, a lot of times what goes on is a friend sets a friend up and they get murdered. Yeah, they call the back door. And then your friend is your enemy. And why is that? That's, that's hatred. That's it. I'm, it, it, I'm, you know, I'm it's it's not hatred. Hate. It's not a hatred of my people. It's a hatred of yourself. Because if, 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 a, if a black man can go just pull up a gun and shoot another black man, even a Hispanic man pull up a gun and shoot another Hispanic man, 
or vice versa, or the same way a Hispanic man pull up, pick up a gun and shoot a black man. That shows that you hate yourself. Right, and then that I shows that there's a level of hatred in you because you don't understand who you are and, and who we are as a people. Right? Thing, the, 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 the bottom line is we don't know who we are as a people we don't understand that you my sister you my brother the the, the, the puerto rican the mexican that lives next right next door they brother. those are our brothers that's my brother too we want them they might the 12 tribes too. of israel but because we don't know that and it's been stripped for us we've been taught to hate one another. Right. Give me that when, Isaiah uh, 42 Because when 22. you bleed, you gotta bleed one We have been taught. In this, in this country, we've been raised up through, through channel slavery. Through this, we've been taught that we are different people. We've been, ta we've been taught that when we was in slavery, they set us up against each other. Even from the time from the time when we was in the Black Panther, we was trying to band together to defend our community, do all of those things. And what did they do? They infiltrated us and split us up. Because they know when we, when we operate with one man, and we operate one together, that's when we elevate, we rise. With every movement, every movement we ever had that we came together and did things, what happened? It stopped. It got stopped. They infiltrated it certain things. The gangs, a lot of the gangs, most of the gangs that were started in Chicago were started to to defend ourselves against the whites that was attacking us. Mm -hmm. But now, we killing each other. Exactly. exactly. Why is that? We lost sight, we lost vision, we have no vision, we have no sight for the future. That's but right. read this real quick. The book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42. Verse 22, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. So the Bible says that this is a people, that people is us. It says this is a people that's robbed and spoiled. How have we been robbed and spoiled? Because what's your nationality? African. What's your nationality? Black. Black. How you doing, sis? What's your nationality? So you, so... I'm looking at y'all, y'all look the same what, to me. Y'all like y'all come the same, but you said African and black. Wait, hold on. You said African and black. What's your father? Indian. Indian? My mom is black. Okay, so you would be you would be Indian. But either way, we still the same people. That's right. That's what we got. But the thing about it is this. You said you African. What tribe? I don't know what tribe. Or what country, I should say. Yeah. In the United States. So what, what makes you say that you're African? Because, um, like, I'm quite sure, like, my family is from Africa. I'm black. Okay, I see. So I have some part of African in me, like, I'm black. Like, so I'm black. Well, that's like, like, like you mixed Right, so you, would, so you would agree that, you know that your forefathers was brought from the west coast of Africa over to here. Right. So let, let me tell you this. We not Africans. Okay. And we don't have the books do we not Africans. So this, this is the thing. Cause give me that. Um, what I want? Give me chapter. Uh, give me Luke twenty-one. Luke chapter twenty-one. Cause this is the thing. A lot of us, when we start searching for self and we start searching our history, the first thing we do is say we African. Right. Now, when you see a real African, but you they, know what? Me myself. Do we? Do we I would, can we walk? We have the told same resemblance, some of the resemblance, but I a lot of them. Do they mess with I'm us? I'm not black. The, the no, real no, 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 I'm talking more. I'm a lot of them don't mess with us. I tell you, I'm not black. Now, if if, if I was African, we have the same nationality. Uh, you came you over here. We should have be able to have some level of peace. Right. That's the thing. Cause I'm let's read this real quick. But this is this is one of the things that we have to understand. This Bible, yeah, uh, yeah. This Bible is our history book. It's the history book of the Israelites. So the Bible tells us from beginning to end why the things, why we live in the conditions that we live in today, and why things have happened over the course of years. Right. So read this real quick. The book of Luke, chapter twenty-one, verse twenty. For when ye see, shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. So this is referring to the destruction of Jerusalem 
in 70 AD. He let, that Christ let him know that when you see the army starting to come against Judea, know that this, know this Jerusalem is about to be destroyed. Read. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. So now he said that them that's in Judea flee to the mountains. The mountains that they was going to flee into was the mountains of Africa, the mountains of Egypt. They was going into Africa. Why? Because we look, like we just, we look, we, in skin tone, we look alike. So what happened? If we run over there and hide amongst them, they're not going to be able to find us because we all look alike. But we are not African. At the end of the day. Oh, uh, read on. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And, and let not them that are in the countries enter there into. So if you live on the outskirts of Judea, when this time comes, don't try to go in. If you live in the cities, leave. Because destruction is coming. This is when all type of, they, they, they murdered us, killed us, everything. They took over Jerusalem. That's why we're not there now. But this was prophesied to happen, like we brought, we were bringing out earlier to the other brother, because we broke God's commandments. That's why these things happen. Give me that, uh, what Christ said, uh, Christ said. Get that. <clears throat> and this is, this is how we know that, you know, us fleeing into the mountains was us going into Africa. Because that's why, that's why we were in Africa. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. So the angel of the Lord came to Joseph, Christ's father, and told him what? Saying, arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. He told him to flee into Egypt. That's the same thing we just read in Luke 21. And we were told to flee. We was in Judea when the destruction was coming to flee into Egypt, flee into the mountains. Read. And be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. So this is when Herod, King Herod, heard that the king of the Jews was born. So now he put an edict out to kill all the children, two and two and under. So we would. So Joseph was told to flee to Egypt. To, a, to an opportune time before he can come back. For the most how we bring him back into the land. That's how we know that we are not, that we, we, we fled into Egypt because we look the same. We get Exodus chapter 11 and verse seven. We, but we are not the same people. We are not the same people because these things that happened to us, we don't, we don't get it. Because you, you know who sold us? When we came in, when, they, when the so-called white man came and picked us from the, from the west coast of Africa, who was selling us? I'm a, have you, what is it, is it on here? Well, you, I don't know if you ever seen the image where it, you seen the, you seen the slave movie. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, on the slave movies, when they was, when they was coming to the west coast of Africa and picking us up, was it, was it other whites selling it to whites? It was blacks, right? And most, a lot of people think it was African selling Africans. But that's not the case. But, uh, why I tell you to get Read that real quick. The book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue uh -huh. against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So the Lord put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. The Egyptians are who? Oh they African. Right, yeah. So this, the Bible just said that he put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So they let us know these are not the same people. We are not the same people. Right, right now give me that in Joel. So you see here, an Arab, a white man, and an African. These are your slave masters. Because we was in slavery under the Arabs before too. Have you ever heard of the sub-Saharan slave trade? Yeah, I heard of that. They had us under captivity. That's why a lot of our people are Muslim today. That's why a lot of us flock to Islam. Right. And say that it's the black man's religion, when it's not. This Bible is our religion, we just been taught wrong. Um, let me see. See? I don't see it on. 
out here. Is that it? But read that real quick. It's basically when we, when we like you seen in the movies. You see we had dark toned people selling dark toned people. I'm gonna say it like that. Well, it appears that Africans were selling Africans. Right. But let's see what the Bible says. The book of Joel, chapter three, verse one. For behold, in those days, in it, that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So this is the captivity of the nation of Israel. Judah is the, the first three tribes that you see on the other side. And Jerusalem is referring to the bottom head, or the bottom team. Read. And I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is talking about the judgment that's coming for what the nations have done to the Israelites, which is us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So let me ask, how does God plead with us? How does God plead with people? Uh, I said it's like, like, te it's like tests, like trials. Like, uh... Nope. Because so. in this he said, and I will, there I will plead with them for my people. Let's read that. You got that? Isaiah. Isaiah 66. Yeah, 66 was. Yeah. It's like 66 and 15. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind and render his anger with the fury and his rebuke with the flames for by fire for by the sword will the lord plead with all flesh did you hear what he just said read that last part again the lord will plead not a whole word for the for by fire and for by his sword so he said by fire and by his sword what what is what does fire do it burn it destroy and what does a sword do a sword is a weapon of war, right? So it said by fire and by a sword, read. Will the Lord plead with all flesh? It says by fire and by sword, the Lord going to plead with all flesh. So when we just read that, go back to uh, Joel. So when he said he going to plead with the nations for his heritage Israel, he coming with destruction. Christ ain't coming with hugs and kisses. Christ is coming for destruction, read. It will plead with, uh, with them. Call it a the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 2. And I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Or oh, the valley of judgment, read. And will plead with them there uh -huh. for my people and my heritage, Israel. So most High will come with destruction for what the nations have done to us, for putting us in captivity, for putting us in, in this trap house that we call our neighborhood. Because that's all it is. Prison, the, what is it? The uh, school to prison pipeline. What do we learn in school? Uh, Nothing. Stuff so you got. Our people, our people are destroyed. They won't. They drive past and say f y'all. When we out here teaching and giving solutions, but it's f us. But yet, where where are the solutions? How do we fix our community? Because we marched. We've done everything. And, and what, 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 what bothers me the most is about our people. The police will shoot, shoot one of us down, right? And what we do, we tear up the neighborhood, march up and down the block. We want justice, we want justice. But yet when your brother shoot, uh, shoot his brother, don't nothing happen. Ain't no, ain't no marches, ain't no parades. People see it happen and don't even tell. Right. So the, the problem is with us. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.
Be strong in the Lord!